That's why I've uh, published the uh, Police and Crime Plan, and that went to the panel um, last week. That's been on the website for some time now, and it sets out quite clearly what we're trying to achieve. Um, and um, it's worth having a look at it because it covers a huge area. Um, they... So you mentioned your police and crime plan. You said you published it. Um, I, is it in draft form at the moment, or, or have you published a final version? Because I was quite surprised to hear you say you published the final version, and that was what... It, um... the, what is on the website is virtually the final. There's a few commas to go in it, but that's about it. It went to the police and crime committee last week, yeah. and a uh, few comments came back. I don't think we need to change it in any way, so what you've got on the website is the police and crime plan. Look, I, I, I'm obviously slightly disappointed in that as someone who responded to the public consultation and sort of disappointed to hear that you haven't um, d sort of responded to um, what the police and crime panel have said. But just quickly... One of the things that I have said about the police and crime plan, it's not set in stone, and I will revise it and we will sort of have a look as we go along. New things are going to happen. New problems are going to come up, and they have to be addressed, and they will be. So it's going to be a movable feast. I don't want to, anyone to think that that's as it's going to stand. It isn't.